Hello viewers, in this video I will find out the reactions for the cantilever beam for the point load acting over the cantilever and the UDL is acting over the cantilever. So first of all I will solve this for the point load and then for the UDL case. The reactions for the cantilever beam. So what I will do, the here in this case the VA is acting upward, the reaction, vertical reaction, HA is the horizontal reaction and NA is the moment reaction. So what I will take, taking moment about point A. This is my point A, I will take moment about this point. And the summation of all the moments about point A is equal to 0 and the Counterclockwise moment is taken as positive and clockwise moment is taken as negative. And this is my point A and moment is actually equal to force into moment R. Here you can see the 10 into 15. 10 is the force, this force point load and 15 is the moment arm of this force about point A. The vertical, actually the vertical distance of this application point of application of this force and this point a the vertical distance between these points is the moment arm here this point load create the clockwise moment about point a so that is why we have taken it as negative over here m a is creating the counterclockwise moment about point a so it is taken as positive you can see only these two moments are acting. This force creates the moment and this MA is the moment about point A. This VA and HA are passing through A. So in this case for these two forces moment arm is zero. So that is why they do not create any moment about point A. Only MA and 10 keep create the moment about point A. And MA is actually the moment, so we don't need to multiply it with any moment arm or sum something. The sum of these two moments equal to zero. And here we will get MA is equal to 150 kip feet. This is the MA is acting over here. Now I will find out this VA acting upward. For this I will take sum of all vertical forces is equal to 0. The upward force is taken as positive and downward taken as negative. This 10 keep is acting downward so taken as negative and this VA is acting upward taken as positive. You can see only the two vertical forces are acting over here. One is 10 keep, second is VA. So their sum is equal to 0. Thus I will get VA is equal to 10 acting upward over here. So these are the reactions for my cantilever with point load acting on the cantilever. Now here the horizontal reaction you can see it is 0 because in this cantilever no horizontal force is acting. So if any horizontal force acting over here this horizontal force is directly equal to this horizontal reaction over here. So now I will find out the reactions for the cantilever when UDL is acting on it. So similarly I will take the moment about point A and 3 into 20 is the UDL force and 10 is the moment arm for this UDL force. 10 is the half of this 20 is the moment arm of this UDL force. This create the clockwise moment about point A so that is why I taken it as negative plus MA. MA create the counterclockwise moment about point A taken it as positive. You can see only these two forces create the moment about point A so that is why I have taken only these two forces and their sum only these two moments and their sum equal to zero. This VA and the horizontal acting over here are passing through point A so they do not create any moment. Only this UDL create moment and this MA 
is the reaction moment about point A. This MA is equal to 60, it is acting over here. Now I will proceed for this vertical reaction. For this, similarly, I will take sum of vertical forces is equal to 0. The 3 into 20 is the UDL vertical force acting downward, taken is as negative, and VA is the positive acting upward. There are only these two vertical forces acting on this cantilever, so their sum is equal to 0. In this way, I will get VA is equal to 60 acting over here. And the horizontal reaction in this case also is equal to 0 because no horizontal force acting over here. So these are my two cantilevers and these are their reactions over here. Thanks for watching my video.